Have you heard about the recent flooding in Dubai? This past week, a monsoon-like deluge swept across the Middle East, soaking the arid lands of the United Arab Emirates, Oman and Bahrain. This resulted in a climatic anomaly that left the locals and the world astounded. The floodwaters, unyielding in their torrential downpour, turned the usually hot and dry landscape of the region into a scene reminiscent of a waterlogged nightmare. Dubai, the glittering jewel of the Middle East, recognized worldwide for its soaring temperatures and parched climate, was engulfed by such an amount of rainfall that it surpassed the total annual precipitation in a single day. A city that has been historically known for its lack of rain was suddenly transformed into a veritable water world. The life in this bustling metropolis, unprepared for such a drastic climatic shift, screeched to a stop as the rains continued to pour. It wasn't just Dubai. The United Arab Emirates as a whole was caught off guard by this weather anomaly. The country witnessed the heaviest rainfall in its recorded history of 75 years, filling up roads, submerging highways, and creating havoc in its wake. Streams turned into rivers, roads became canals, and highways were transformed into virtual rivers. As the rains battered the region relentlessly causing damage, the water levels rose dangerously, wreaking havoc on the unprepared infrastructure. As the region grapples with the aftermath of this unexpected weather, the human toll has been significantly disheartening. The relentless rains have claimed at least 20 lives across the region, with 19 in Oman and one in the UAE. This deluge didn't just wet the streets, it wreaked havoc in an unimaginable manner. Not just some ordinary showers, but a torrential one, enough to create a miniature version of a monsoon. It came with such force and volume that it disrupted the daily rhythm of the city and brought life to a standstill. The skies were not merely crying, they were sobbing, and the earth beneath was left drenched unable to soak up the excess water. The repercussions of this downpour were deeply felt at one of the busiest airports in the world, the Dubai International Airport. Imagine a place that is constantly buzzing with the comings and goings of plane engines roaring, suitcases rolling, passengers hurrying, and announcements echoing. Now visualize that place under sheets of relentless rain, the continuous pour turning runways into rivers, boarding areas into swamps. The airport, accustomed to the desert heat, was ill-prepared for such a deluge. No choice but to disrupt its services, grounding flights, stranding passengers, causing chaos. The rainfall was far from ordinary. It measured a staggering 5.59 inches in a single day. An unbelievable amount for a region that usually sees less than that in an entire year. The weather reports had predicted rain, but nobody expected it to be so excessive, so overwhelming. And as the downpour continued, the city was on high alert, urging citizens to stay indoors for their safety. The storm didn't stop at just ground transportation and aviation services, it also wreaked havoc in nearby Bahrain. As the rains continued to pour, safety concerns grew for the younger generation. Streams turned into rivers and playgrounds into ponds. As a result, for the safety of the children, the authorities did what they thought was best. They announced the closure of schools. This was no typical rain shower, but a storm that had come to disrupt, to change routines and to remind people of the power of nature. Now Dubai is grappling with the aftermath. Originating as an enclave of fishermen and pearl divers, Dubai has evolved remarkably over the years and blossomed into a city of exuberance and grandeur. Known for its architectural wonders, this city has a strikingly modern skyline that includes the tallest building in the world, the Burj Khalifa. But beneath the city's glamorous veil lies a reality that unfolded with the recent flooding. The city, once a symbol of opulence and luxury, has found itself in the midst of a historic catastrophe. The flooding has dramatically altered the cityscape, submerging expensive cars and fancy homes in water, and leaving high-rise buildings isolated like islands. In a city where water scarcity had once been a pressing issue, the of the situation is not lost on its inhabitants. The severity of the disaster has prompted authorities and residents to unite in a city-wide effort to mitigate the damage, Rescue crews and volunteers are toiling tirelessly, draining waterlogged areas, salvaging assets and aiding distressed families. The impact of this event has jolted the city out of its complacent attitude towards the environment and triggered a wave of self-reflection. The extent of the damage is significant and the ongoing recovery efforts are being closely watched by authorities and the public alike. 
In summary, this unexpected and historic rainfall has brought unprecedented challenges to Dubai and its neighboring regions. The intensity of this rainfall was far beyond what the city and its surroundings had ever experienced before. The magnitude of this storm was such that it battered the entire city, causing significant damage to infrastructure, homes and businesses. Streets were flooded and people were forced to evacuate their homes, seeking shelter wherever they could. The city's infrastructure, although designed to handle normal rainfalls, was clearly overwhelmed by this deluge. The city's metro system came to a standstill. Roads were inundated with water, making travel nearly impossible, and power outages were widespread. But even in the face of such adversity, the people of Dubai and its neighboring regions showed remarkable resilience. Rescue operations were quickly set up with people working around the clock to ensure the safety of those affected. Aid organizations and volunteers sprang into action, providing food, shelter and essential supplies to those in need. The recovery process, as expected, is a massive undertaking. Teams of engineers, construction workers and urban planners are working diligently, assessing the damage and initiating repairs. For weeks, the hum of machinery and the drone of construction have been the city's constant companions. Yet despite all the efforts, the full extent of the damage remains to be seen. We are still uncovering the scale of the devastation, and it will take time to fully comprehend the impact of this historic event. As the city moves forward, this event serves as a stark reminder of the unpredictable nature of weather and its potential to disrupt even the most prepared societies.